What is Simon Jordan like? Because he's a bit of an, 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 an enigma. An enigma. That's easy yeah. for me to say. It's hard, isn't it? Mm. Um, he... You've worked with some some uh, interesting people from the world of sport. Everyone, everyone we can name, you've worked with them. I was wondering if we could play a little game where we give you the name of some people. Some you some you would have worked uh, uh, worked with, some you wouldn't. Have. And you give us one word or a sentence that springs to mind okay. when you hear this name. Okay, we'll start with Gary Neville. Oh, <laughs> Golgasm. <laughs> Golgasm. <laughs> Simon Jordan. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> I do love him, by the way. But yeah, that will do. Jack Grealish. Oh, like is a noise all right again? Like, oh, ja um, a word for Jack Grealish, um, sweetheart. Gezi Price. Ha. Oh, um, aggro, but I love it. Love yeah. his aggro. Always support that. Don't think that he should change it at all. Nah, I think literally it's like half the reason why I love the arts now. He was yeah. lovely Amazing. when he came in here. Yeah, he was. Oh, he's a great yeah. guy. Like yeah. a really great guy. Yeah. And bloody good as well. Yeah. We've got Tom Brady. <laughs> Surgery. <laughs> Have you seen him lately? <laughs> what has he done? <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> Erling Haaland. Oh, um, robot. Yeah, we predicted you were going to say that one. <laughs> Leo Williamson. Oh, icon. Mikel Arteta. Legend. Dishy as well. Dishy? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely we, dishy. Laura, we did this thing on, on Happy Hour about a year ago. We got called out for it. We saying, said we weren't going to mention this. No, we have to, though. We, um, Me, Stevie and Robbie, we, we rated um, all the 20 Premier League managers based purely on appearance alone and put them in a tier list. For no reason. This was half an hour of an episode where we just went... Which managers are sexy? <laughs> Who was, was this when Burnley were in the Premier League? Yeah, yeah. Sean Dyche was on there. Yeah, but he's, he? He, he, I don't think he did too bad. You said he looked like your dad. Yeah, but so then I you also called him attractive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're from Norwich, so it's fine. <laughs> As yeah. They all are. <laughs> well, I think we put Arteta number one. Yeah. Arteta was and Gerard was up there. Lampard was in at the time. Where was Thomas as well. Tuchel? Lampard and Gerard. He'd be number two for me. Oh, really? Love T him. Too cool. Really yeah. intelligent person to interview. Great. He's Can't he can speak a lot of languages, can't he? I think he can actually. He only spoke English to me, luckily. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think we called him Dishy though, did we? Benitez was on there as well. Oh, Benitez was Benitez. not. He looks like <laughs> Owl's toy. No, I didn't say I put story. him up the top, but he was on our list. <laughs> 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 okay, let's, let's get through these last three. We've yeah. got Ali McCoist. Oh my god, um, work husband Ben Foster. Oh, you know what? Can I use another word? That because this is what he would say as well. Legend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we'll finish with Adebayo Akinfenwa. Oh my god, beast! Love him so much. He, another one of my work husbands. He came on um, a couple of days ago, and he said that he had a bones pick with you. <laughs> Uh, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't actually tell us what you'd done. <laughs> he just said, "Tell her that I'm not happy." Yeah, I think it's because he was. He had the premiere of his documentary, and I couldn't go to it. Oh right, okay. At all, and I feel really bad because it was my um, my tutor's leaving drinks. He was retiring, so he yeah. And I was like, I have to go. My university tutor I yeah. have to go to that, and I'd already said yes. So I couldn't. And it was at, it was in Wickham, and it started at like half six. And I was like, ba like if it was in London, and it was I could come afterwards, and I would have done. It might have been that, or or there's something else. You might just hate you. <laughs> Maybe yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Quite like what? See, I really like Simon Jordan and Jim White on the radio. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Right. I tweeted about that the other day. I got a bit of stick for it. Oh, people love to do shit like that on Twitter, though, don't I they? I know. I get called out for anything, so it doesn't really yeah. bother me. But. What is Simon Jordan like? Because he's a bit of an an, an, an enigma. An enigma. That's easy oh, yeah. for me to say. It's hard, isn't it? Mm. Um, he he actually we got on really well. Yeah, yeah, we're quite close actually. Me and Simon. People don't think we are for some reason. Um, and I, he is. Yeah, he's a great friend. Someone to like bounce things off of because mm. obviously he knows everything in the world of business. Um, I say this to him all the time. I disagree with him about a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I've got a lot of respect for him. Yeah, he's he's great. He's great fun. 
He always looks like he's going to a wedding. Um, <laughs> I always look like I'm, I always look like I'm going to like a um, a 17 year old birthday party because I'm always in like a tracksuit and stuff like that. And, and that's because you're a runner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a runner, aren't I? Am I? <laughs> um, but yeah, I I do. I've got a lot of time for Simon. Yeah. 